Hello, thank you for joining everyone. Hi, this is Nikhil Aprajit. Welcome to the Lumos Labs Developer Workshop in partnership with Nervos Network. Uh, I welcome you all to this developer workshop that we will be con conducting on the Nervos Network. Uh, before I hand out, uh, uh, before I give the uh, uh, the chance for Daniel to speak, I like uh, like to uh, declare the agenda for the meetup, what we are going to do, and what we are going to cover in this meetup. So uh, Daniel, for the next hour, will be uh, helping you understand how to access any asset, any blockchain, uh, how to create dApps from, uh, how to operate dApps from any wallet or solution, how you can build a blockchain platform for universal applications, and also learn about the nervous network. Let me tell, uh, let me brief you in short about our speaker today, Daniel Kmac. He is a seasoned blockchain engineer with ample experience in developing scalable blockchain applications. He is also amongst the top 2% of the developers contributing to Stack Overflow and is an avid mentor and a senior blockchain engineer at the Nervos Network. As a part of the team building, uh, as a part of the team building the world's passport to blockchain, Daniel will be imparting precious insights about building a universal applications on blockchain today. So without any further ado, Daniel, over to you. Thank you, Nikki, for this introduction. Uh, I'm honored to be here. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, hi, Sophie. Hi, Madan. Hi, Amir. Thank you for, um, for writing your messages in the chat. Um, yeah, it's, it's great to be here. I will begin my presentation shortly. Uh, let me share my screen. And Nikhil, uh, can I ask you to, to enable uh, screen yes. sharing? Yes. Thank you. Just give me a moment. Yeah, so so it's it's great to be here. Uh, Lumos is also the name of one of our tools at Nervos, uh, so it's pretty great. And uh, yeah, can you try it now, Daniel? I think you have the access. Yeah, I think I think you should be able to see my screen right now. Yes, we can. Perfect. So the title of today's presentation is Optimism Beyond Ethereum, uh, Ethereum Virtual Machine in Non-EVM Chains. So optimism and optimistic roll-up, you might be familiar with it if you if you are maybe spend some time in uh, in the blockchain space if you if you watch it closely. It's a next level of solutions to scale uh, blockchains, to, to scale uh, Ethereum. But what I, this presentation is, is about to show that optimistic rollups and layer to scaling solutions and even Ethereum virtual machine support exists not only in Ethereum, but also in, in other blockchains as well. So today's presentation comes at a very exciting time for us at Nervous Network um, because we have recently uh, hit some uh, charts for, for being top trending alt. So, so this is really exciting uh, time for us. And yeah, here are some screenshots from Lunar Crash, which is having some uh, altcoin ranking or something like this. And uh, we were also top five on Reddit cryptocurrency. So it's pretty exciting. And the metrics included like uh, the social activity about the about the network and um, and and some stuff about the market. So me myself, I'm working at developer relations. Uh, I'm in the blockchain space since 2017. Uh, I spent three years working on projects in, in Ethereum space, two years in alternative blockchains. I previously worked at Ethereum Alarm Clock, Polymath, and Energy Web Foundation. Yes, as, as Nikhil said, I'm also top two person stack overflow contributor, and I try to do a lot of like almost all my work is open source. And the same at Nervous Network, we do open source stuff. So anyone can just like uh, use what we are doing, and we are trying to build something that is accessible for free and, and public. So Nikhil already uh, Told you about the general agenda for the meeting. I'll tell you about the agenda for this presentation. 
So we will try to answer three questions. First, what is this solution, this EVM solution that Nervos is trying to, to, to advertise to you? The second is, why would you even care about this? And three, uh, how to get started if, if you think this is something for you. So first of all, what's Nervos? So this is blockchain for general purpose like Ethereum, so you can build any type of application. It was designed in 2019 already with layered architecture in mind. So one of our top researchers who designed Nervos he worked in Ethereum Foundation uh, with Vitalik, and uh, our researcher worked uh, on sharding. So he has some experience with scaling blockchains, and, and he decided to, to start his own blockchain uh, in, in 2019. Nervos is using UTXO model versus account model in Ethereum. So if you guys did some Ethereum programming, then it is using account model programming. So account model versus UTXO model is, so UTXO is unspent transaction output and UTXO is in Bitcoin, for example. So you, in Bitcoin, you have multiple saves with your money and all of these saves are called unspent transaction outputs. And to construct the transaction in Bitcoin, uh, you take these saves, multiple locations with your funds, and then you, take all these locations and then you create a transaction, uh, creating new saves basically. So you have some inputs and some outputs. And in Ethereum, you have one, like an account of a balance. And each time you create a transaction in Ethereum, you alter this balance for, for this certain account. So I think it's important if you're Ethereum right now, maybe to know that there are different blockchain programming models right now. And I, I think learning about this UTXO thing is interesting um, because UTXO blockchains are gaining momentum. Uh, Cardano is trending. It, 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 will, it used to be like the third blockchain by market cap some time ago. So it seems that um, Ethereum also has competition. Uh, and yeah, there are different programming models. So it's also good to good to stay up to date on what's happening in the, in the space. Nervos is using proof of work. Um, on layer one, it has also UTXO stateful programming model. On Nervos layer one, you program with Rust. Um, we use layer one for storing and verifying state and we moved computation to off-chain even on layer one. But today's presentation is about layer two uh, Ethereum uh, capabilities. So key EVM features on Nervos is, so we are very big on interoperability. So on our layer two EVM, you can create application. For example, you can take Uniswap Solidity contracts, deploy them on Nervos, and your users can use either MetaMask or Tron wallets to, to interact with the application. They don't have to install anything. They can just like, Go to application, if they already have MetaMask installed, they can just interact with application running on Nervos. Uh, and the same goes for, for example, for Tron and the other blockchains will be supported in future. And this is because on our layer one, so our layer two is connected to our layer one. And on layer one, we, have, we don't have a concept of externally owned account hard-coded like it is on Ethereum. So, so in Ethereum, the concept of account is hard-coded in the blockchain itself. And the cryptography that you can use, um, the SECP uh, elliptic curve, this is hard-coded. And in Nervos, Nervos is lower level. So you can have any type of uh, account in Nervos. That's why it's very easy to plug in um, yeah, Cardano, Ethereum, Tron, doesn't matter. Yeah, our EVM is also a scaling solution because it's a layer two optimistic rollup. And now let's talk maybe a little bit more about what is an optimistic rollup. So optimistic rollup, yeah, as I said, is a layer two scaling mechanism. The security assumption in optimistic rollup is that there's at least one honest node. So 
at least one person who's running a blog producer or aggregator has to be honest. And it works this way that all blog producers on layer two network, they have to stake their funds. And if, if you notice, for example, as a blog producer that something is wrong, that some transaction is malicious, you can challenge this transaction and then you can verify these transactions on chain. And if something is wrong, then the malicious aggregator stake should, should be slashed, basically. Uh, one of the disadvantages of optimistic rollup is longer withdrawal periods for the user. So if someone deposits funds to layer two, um, they need to wait five days, five days before they can withdraw. And this is because there needs to be time for people to submit these uh, challenges if, if they see something is wrong. And this is a graph which shows how this works uh, at the high level. So as user, you submit layer two transaction to layer two aggregator, then layer two aggregator creates layer two block. And then these layer two blocks are submitted on layer one. And these blocks can have different status. So they can be finalized, they can be unfinalized. And uh, yeah, for example, sometimes if you, if you interact with layer two application, and this is in general, if whether it's Ethereum application or application on Nervous, whatever, then sometimes you, you should wait for the block to be included on layer one. Because if you send this layer two transaction, let's say you have Uniswap on layer two, you send transaction there and you get, you see that your transaction was included in layer two block. So in theory, you should, you should be okay. But uh, until this is actually confirmed on layer one, then you know it can something can go wrong and uh, yeah it might be better to wait for for layer one confirmation but this is next level user experience and uh, and i think developers in this space just just only now started to think about all these user experience challenges for running cross-chain applications for layer one to layer two bridges etc so so still not everything might be clear yet in terms of what's the best practice here so why should you even care about deploying your Ethereum application on Nervous Layer 2? So here's my take on it. So first of all, as I said, UTXO blockchains are gaining momentum. Uh, Cardano is one of the biggest blockchains and at Nervous, we are in close partnership with them. Uh, recently, Cardano and Nervous and some other blockchains as well announced UTXO Alliance. So basically, UTXO blockchains are working together to overcome some UTXO challenges because UTXO programming can be challenging in some ways, uh, different than Ethereum programming. So, so yeah, we work together to overcome these challenges. And yeah, but UTXO blockchains are trending. The second thing is nervous uh, network EVMs layer two solution is right now in mainnet uh, beta which means uh, it only, we, we only started rolling mainnet and it's still pretty new. So you can have first mover advantage. And for example, if you deploy a DEX on a new network, and if your DEX is first, sometimes these projects that were first somewhere manage to capture a lot of users. So yeah, first mover advantage is, is also pretty important. The, the third thing is, um, you can also uh, submit a form for a grant to build MVP. So if you already have Ethereum application, then we can pay you to, to port this application to Nervous, basically. And yeah, we are happy to help. If, if you are interested in that, then I recommend going to nervous.org, uh, finding a link to Discord, and on Discord, finding dev chat channel. And you can ask any questions there we are replying uh, daily. We are very active in this channel. So yeah, we have grants uh, for you. And also 
if you deploy on optimistic rollup, then your app should be more scalable than if you would deploy, for example, on Ethereum right now. So the gas fees would be way lower um, for sure. And also probably transaction per second would be, would be higher as well um, because, because it's, it's a rollup uh, scaling solution. We also have a bridge that is already on mainnet. So it's Ethereum bridge. So you can bridge Ethereum tokens to Nervous Network layer one, and then from Nervous layer one to Nervous layer two, which means, um, which means that you can build applications on Nervous layer two using Solidity contracts, which interact with Ethereum tokens. So it's, it's also pretty good. And we have also announced that we are working on Cardano bridge. So you could create, for example, you could create an exchange or other project on Nervous Layer 2 using Solidity contracts, which interact both with Ethereum and Cardano tokens, and it will be cheaper to, to operate this. And your users will be able to use MetaMask uh, if they are Ethereum users, and if they are Tron users, then they should be able to use Tron Wallet, etc. So how to get started? I recommend uh, visiting uh, our git book with layer two EVM documentation. So you can, I don't know, maybe screenshot this link, or if you go to our Discord uh, dev chat channel on Nervos, then I'm also happy to share this link uh, again and any documentation that might be helpful. But yeah, this is a great place to start. So let me show you. So, it's, so this is our documentation. There are also code, code examples here. Uh, we are updating this documentation all the time. If we see something can be done easier. Um, and this is also actually what happened. So I will show later how you can create account on Nervous Layer 2 uh, as well. And yeah, let me show you how you can create Nervous Layer 2 account right now using MetaMask, so no need to install any custom wallets or anything like that. And so if we go to dev.ckb.tools slash create layer 2 account, which I already have opened. Yeah, so if you go to dev.ckb.tools, and if you go to create layer two account tab, let me create new MetaMask account so you can see that everything is, is fresh. Nothing is scripted here. So. so we have new MetaMask account that was just created. Let's refresh this page. Oh, we need to connect our new account. Let's refresh again. All right, so this should be our new account. Yes, it's our new account. So it says that uh, you don't have Nervous Layer 2 account yet, which is true because it's a new MetaMask account that was randomly generated. So if you click Create Layer 2 account, okay, you will see so you can also create main, so you can create mainnet or testnet account. Uh, but for the purpose of, of this presentation, I will be using testnet just to demonstrate things. And on testnet, you can get funds for free and there's no risk if you develop your application that's when something goes wrong that you will lose uh, any money. So yeah, there's a false set. So I can copy my address and go to false set. You need to enter your address and claim. So the transaction from the faucet is now pending and we need to wait a little bit for this. So in the meantime, as we are waiting for 
for the faucet to give us some funds to our account. Maybe let me show you the force bridge. So this is Ethereum to Nervos bridge that is already on mainnet. And there's a lot of tokens that are already supported like DAI, yeah, Maker, Uni, et cetera, et cetera. There will be probably more supported along the way, but you can already bridge these tokens to Nervos and use them on Nervos layer two. Okay, so it seems our transaction has been processed, so we should have funds already. So now, when the transaction in the process has been processed, you can go here and press create account. And you will receive MetaMask pop-up. So basically what happened is you want to create Nervous Layer 2 account. Uh, so you basically deposit funds from Nervous Layer 1 to Nervous Layer 2. And because uh, you are using MetaMask as your account on Nervous Layer 1, then to transfer these funds from Layer 1 to Layer 2, you have to sign transaction. So this, this is what will happen. Let's sign this transfer. And right now, we have to wait a few minutes for uh, the account to be created on layer two. So previously we've been fake, waiting to receive funds on Nervous Layer 1. And right now we are waiting for layer two account creation to be finished. So this should take about one minute, I believe. In the meanwhile, if you have any questions for Daniel, you can ask them in the Q&A section. Or you can raise your hand and uh, put them in the chat. We will try to answer them. All right, so it means, uh, it, it looks like account creation has succeeded. And uh, yeah, as Nikhil said, if you have any questions, uh, I encourage you also to, to, to put them in the chat. We can see that layer two account was created. And we now have a balance on Nervous layer two. So as you can see, it was uh, very easy to, to do all of this and you just needed a MetaMask. So no need to install any nervous specific uh, stuff. And the same can be done with other wallets. So if someone has Tron wallet, for example, they, they could probably do the same. Uh, so right now in terms of Tron support, I only tested it in the console. So because we were focused right now on making demos with Ethereum uh, and stuff. So Tron demos, and code examples uh, still need to be created. There's one code example, how we can use Tron Wallet. And uh, yeah, I think it's included in our layer two documentation. But yeah, today I will only present how you can use uh, Ethereum Wallet. So we have 400 CKB on layer two, on Nervous layer two right now. So we can try to use some um, Ethereum application on Nervous. So, I have a small problem with this Zoom bar that is covering my apps in Chrome.
Yeah, so UK swap is a DEX that is running on Nervous Layer 2, and it's right now on testnet, but soon will be on mainnet. So if you have already created your Layer 2 account using MetaMask on Nervous, you can press, you can make sure that first make sure that this account is connected to UK swap DEX. Then press connect wallet, choose MetaMask. Network. And let's try to swap some tokens. So, as you can see, I have 400 CKB because we have just deposited it. And let's try to exchange some, let's say, 100 CKB for DCKB. And DCKB is like a voting token that you get for staking CKB in a DAO. That doesn't matter at this point. And let's press swap. So UK swap is Ethereum application running on Nervous. And if you press swap, you will send Ethereum transaction on Nervous, this Ethereum virtual machine transaction on Nervous. So as you can see, there's a difference here because you sign a message. So you don't get this nice dialog as you would get if you interact with Ethereum where you see uh, like a transaction model, instead you get a string sign model. So it's it's a disadvantage. I would say that right right now we only present you to like sign some arbitrary string. But yeah, maybe we will support signing type data uh, in the future. Nikhil, I see you raised hand. Do you want, do you have some question or? No, no, you can tell me. All right, that's cool. Okay, so we swapped 100 CKB for five DCKB. Our balances have changed. So yeah, we have just uh, completed successful layer two transaction on Nervous using Ethereum virtual machine on layer two optimistic rollup uh, scaling solution using MetaMask. So this is pretty interesting. Uh, if you think that Nervous is a completely different blockchain at layer one because it's the UTXO blockchain. Um, but since this is a workshop for developers and we only so far have shown how to use Nervous layer two, let's try to deploy some contracts, shall we? So, um, if you go to layer two EVM documentation that I have shown previously. So this link, one of the guys here will tell you to clone the repository uh, with code examples. And I already have this repository cloned. If you go to code examples, and if you go to second example, it, it is a deploy contract code example. So we have some very simple smart contract here written in Solidity. It just stores a number and you can change this number. Let's make sure it's compiled. We are compiling using Truffle, which is completely normal. And we will deploy this contract using official Web3.js. So there's no fork of Web3.js. You can use official Web3.js and official truffle. But the one thing you need to change is you need to install custom Web3.js provider. So this is in documentation. Um, so yeah, here's how you can deploy contract from Nervous. And we need to paste here our Ethereum private key. To your account. So usually you should never show your private key to anyone, but because this is testnet and testnet funds and these funds have no value. So uh, I will export the private key from MetaMask of the account that we have just uh, created during this live session. So I'm exporting private key from MetaMask pasting this into deploy script. 
And right now, let's try to see if it works if we run node index.js. Let's see. Okay, so I forgot to, spe to specify which content I want to apply. So I need what I want to apply. Simple store JSON. Hope it works. Yeah, it worked. So that's pretty great. So as you can see, we have just deployed Ethereum smart contract to Nervous Layer 2. So maybe let's try to run one more demo. Let's try to call this contract to make sure it's it's not a scam and everything was deployed correctly. So let's go to next color example about calling the contract. So we need to press ABI. And the private key because we are sending transaction. And then let's specify methods we want to call. So first we will get the number from the smart contract that is already stored. So it should be one to three. And then we will set a new number, let's say. 1047. Right. And let's try to execute second example. So before we send transaction, it was default one to three. Then we sent transaction and we received a receipt. Uh, from nervous layer to EDM. So it looks just like Ethereum receive. And then we call smart contract again. And we see the new number stored is the one that we have specified. So everything worked uh, perfectly. So that's how easy it is to, to deploy your Ethereum application to nervous layer two. Mm. Let's go back to the presentation. So in terms of compatibility with the tooling, as you can see in this code examples, you have to install custom provider for Web3.js and for Ethers.js as well. But the tools like Travel and Hardhat, they work. The deployment using Hardhat doesn't work, but you can use Hardhat to compile your project, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, the yeah, other tools like type, cha type chain, for example, they also work. Graph node indexer is also working. So if you want to index complex blockchain queries, it will work just fine. It is tested. There are some differences. So sometimes you might change your smart contract. Example is if you have some on-chain signature verification then it's possible that you might need to change something but we have we have a documentation for it and this is because on our layer two there's a different address that the smart contracts see and this is for interoperability regions so we have address that is standardized so doesn't matter if someone uses ethereum or tron or cardano or something uh, there is a transformation to the address applied. So everything works on chain, uh, on nervous layer to chain, and you can interact using different wallets. So yeah, in future, we want to support more wallets and have more demos and code examples using, for example, Tron wallet, Cardano, um, Polkadot, etc. Maybe I can show you Tron example. Yeah, so if you clone this layer to EVM the documentation of Nervous, then you will also see from console smart contract call example. And, uh, yeah, 
it, it basically it, it should basically work. But yeah, we want to provide more documentation for on other wallets. Yeah, yeah we, we want to dig into this today. Yeah, the next thing we want to change is uh, our layer to optimistic rollup. In the first stage, it's a proof of authority. And right now, to deploy contracts, you need to be whitelisted. So if you want to deploy contracts on mainnet on our layer, uh, on our layer two, because we have just started, we are using a whitelist. But this is only for the beginning. It will be permissionless uh, in the future. We just want to make sure that on the start, it's, it's secure. So yeah, if you want to, but if you have any Ethereum project that you would like to deploy, deploy just click apply now. We just want to know some details about uh, you or your team. Just want to see that you know you are able to deploy it and uh, the contracts are more or less safe, so so people don't don't lose money. But yeah, in, in the second stage, we want to transition to proof of stake for layer two aggregators uh, with stake it and everything. And the third thing we want to do is we would like to be running a zero knowledge rollup instead of optimistic rollup, because we believe zero knowledge rollups are the future. Um, but yeah, this is something to keep in mind for the future. So yeah, that's, this is all in terms of this presentation. I will answer all questions uh, shortly. I just invite you, if you have some questions, you want, you have some projects that you would like to get funded maybe and port it to, to Nervous, some Ethereum project, then yeah, just go to nervous.org, find link to Discord and say hello in dev chat channel. And I'm there, my colleagues are also there and we answer all questions. We are happy to, to answer them. This is our job. <laughs> so yeah, that's it in terms of presentation. Um, Nikhil, let me know. We have, what we have one question. David is asking, does Polyjuice support events? So this is a very good question. And this is a very good question uh, because for some time, so right now we do, we do support events. Uh, we support events both, I think, using HTTP provider and WebSocket provider, but at the beginning, we, we didn't support them. So we had to implement it, but right now it, it should be working. There's one more question. Uh, how, how long does it take to get whitelisted? So uh, we, we don't have any criteria here. So our main beta started one week ago, and we will be looking at all whitelist applicants basically as soon as they submit their applications. So I think it should be, I don't know, maybe up to a week, I believe, uh, to get whitelisted. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's reasonable. Yeah. Uh... Are there any questions, anyone? Uh, because that's the end of the questions that I have. All right. Uh, as I said, also, I invite everyone to, to come to our Discord ner nervous server and the chat channel. The link for the Discord server is in the chat. So if you want to join the Discord server, you can. No, thank you so much, Nikhil. I've also linked the documentation for Novos in the chat as well. So anyone who wants to take a look at that, they can check it out. Um, so yeah, I, I guess this is all the questions that we have. All right. Cool. Thank I you so much. This Thank you so much, everyone, for joining this meetup. Thank you so much, Daniel, for taking out the time to conduct this meetup and uh, sharing stuff about Nose uh, Network with us. I hope this session has been extremely insightful for everyone who has attended the session. Thank you again for joining. See you, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.